Hello and welcome to the Evenness YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am thrilled to talk with you today about the newest addition to my shop, and that is Eco Bags. So before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Emily. I'm the founder and creator behind everything you see here at EB Knits. I focus on creating eco-friendly handmade accessories with a pop of color, and I'm mainly knit. I started with knit, added crochet, and I'm kind of diving in with some other small shops that I really love, as well as a few other little crafts just here and there that I am enjoying. So let's get, you can find my shop at ebknits.org is the best place. There's also my blog there. Um, or if you like Etsy better, it's EB Knits by Emily on Etsy. So today I wanted to talk to you about Eco Bags, which is my newest addition to this shop. It's my first ever non-handmade item that I'm bringing in. So these are eco-friendly bags that I will talk more about, about why and how they're eco-friendly um, in a moment. But it is a shop that is based here in the United States. Their bags are, are mainly uh, created and made, produced in India, but they are fair wage, fair labor. Um, the artisans and makers there receive like entire retirement benefits, advanced health care, competitive wages. So based on my research, I feel very comfortable supporting them and really th I think we believe in a lot of the same values. So um, I am excited to bring them into the shop. Again, it's my first ever non-handmade item. It's my first ever small shop that's not my own that I will be including here and I am just so thrilled. I think they're a great addition, so let's get started. These are a couple of items I've already implemented into my own life, and it actually kind of hit me to bring these in. I love making blog posts and creating blog posts with like easy, everyday, simple lifestyle tips and adjustments to make your life more eco-friendly or environmentally conscious. And a big one for me is produce bags. I hate going to the grocery store and wasting this like plastic for, you know, one trip for every produce item, your limes, your lemons, your apples, whatever, like your every produce item at the grocery store. And I thought for a long time about getting produce bags. I never did it for whatever reason. And I finally have and I love it. I apologize, there's a little bit of a breeze going by. It's a really nice day out except just for the, the breeze that hits here and there. So, all right, um, let me get back to what I was saying. So using these produce bags, it makes me feel so much better myself and also knowing I'm not harming the planet by throwing away all of this plastic. It's just for me really about like small changes. Ooh, someone is trying to pull my eye, sorry. For me, it's all about small changes in your everyday lifestyle. You know, it's like, I'm not trying to do everything at once that's overwhelming for me. I've tried to do that with various things in the past, but I've learned it's really just about making small changes one step at a time and taking each step as I go. So that's what works for me. And I'm hoping to, um, you know, test these products, find companies that I love and support, want to support, and then bring them to you too. So let's start with the produce bags. Um, they are, is this all of them? Yeah. So you can, they are a set of three. There's three different, they're different sizes that are included. So this is the largest one. And then look at how cute they are. They've got little prints of, you know, it's got like pumpkins and bread and potatoes on it. And then this is the middle size. Oh, it still has a, like, some garlic peels from when I just used mine. <laughs> um, this is, you know, like avocado. You can obviously use each one for anything you want, but I just think that the little, the little illustrations are very cute on there. And then this is the smallest size. And I'm not gonna rattle off to you like what their exact sizes are right now, but I will put them. Um, they are on in the product listing and I will probably put them like on the bottom of the video or something for easy access or link to it. So, and then they're also machine washable. So, I mean, it tells you right on here, like it's 100% natural cotton, fair wage for labor made in India. And then it just suggests that you cold wa wash it in cold um, and you can reuse them as many times as you know you want to and I just think they're a great addition I love the three different sizes and like I already said I really like the illustration I'm all about color as you know so it's just not a, even a boring bag it's just even more fun so 
these come together. You can't buy them separately. They're all together. These are my own personal ones. They do have nice packaging um, from the company that they arrive in and I have select quantities. So that is the first item from EcoBags that I'm excited to introduce. All right, item number two. It is another item that I have thought about offering in the shop before. So, so last summer, right before, last spring, right before the pandemic became a pan, they announced it was a pandemic and like lockdown and all of that. I was making so excited for around summertime to announce this line of bags, and I was making these bags and I was considering creating a net or a string bag as well. A lot of people do crochet them on their own. But I liked the bags that I was creating, but I just the idea of the string bag or the net bag, it didn't like, you know, spark any light in me or any passion. So I didn't do it. And ultimately that bag of lines is still yet to be released because with the pandemic, I didn't feel like yada, yada, yada. I just didn't feel like it was the time. So that'll be coming at some point as well. But the point is here, um, I am not making my own string bags or net bags, but I still think they're a great addition, a great asset to your everyday. You know, you can fit tons of stuff in it. They're actually, they're small. I'll show you, this is, here's an example. There's a tag, but like see, they're just small. You can literally shove it in your pocket or your bag or wherever you need to shove it. And then here it is. And even better, okay, okay, it looks bigger, whatever, it stretches. So you can fit all kinds of produce in here if that's what, you, when you take it to the farmer's market, it's kind of like the traditional idea behind it. But I shoved eight or nine books in here, hardcover and paperback. I will insert pictures so that you can see how durable it is, how much it holds. It really does stretch, it's comfortable, square on your shoulder. It is a wonderful bag. So I am thrilled to be offering these. And this is actually EcoBag's like signature first ever bag release. And it's 100% cotton, expands to hold 40 pounds. So it's meant to hold a lot. And I just think it's a great, like I said, a great addition just to, and so travel size, you know? It just like, you can bring it anywhere. Bring it to the beach bring it to the laundry, bring it to the farmer's market, bring it to the library. Like there's so many uses for this. So I'm really excited about this. And this is another one. Um, be aware, this is 100% cotton. I did wash it and it shrunk a little. So I didn't, it wasn't cold though. I just washed it like with the other wash and it did shrink a little, but it stretches back out. So it's not a big deal. Just, I want you to know that it will shrink a tad bit in the wash, um, but, it's cotton, that's what it does. So hopefully that's okay. So that, and then this also, so I'm holding the natural color and showing you, showing you the natural color here. I do have it in, I ice dyed a couple of the natural color, just two. So there's one with hints of blue and there's one with hints of red and orange and purple, but it's mainly, it's mainly red and orange to be honest. Um, so those two are available. And then there's some solid colors that I didn't dye, they, I just purchased them that way, that they are, um, it's like they're tropical set. So green, blue, orange, it's like lime green, hot pink, a bright electric blue, and an orange, like a true orange orange. Um, and then plus it's natural. So those are the colors that I have available right now in the shop. So stick with natural, go a little fun, whatever you like. It is available now and again these are limited quantities but i hope you like them and i will continue to order more if you show interest so please let me know what you think those are the two items that are available in the shop um that is like stray from eco bags i didn't really do anything too i will wrap them in the eb knits wrapping but uh, packaging but um there's one more item however i have put my own little touch on it and these took me so long to get right, but I finally figured out the best technique. I talked about in my last podcast episode, if you are a podcast viewer. So 
let me just start. I'll show you the actual final finished product. So right now, there's only gonna be three of these in the shop. There might be four. They are, these are cotton and jute bags. The top half is cotton, it's bottom brown is jute. It has a handle on your shoulder. And then I have went ahead, so they come plain, like neutral, white color, natural. And I have ice dyed them. So again, I was having, I was struggling. I didn't want the dye to run onto this brown jute part, but I took seven bags. No, it took six attempts for me to get it right. I finally figured it out. I think, fingers crossed, it's worked for a few times. So hopefully it'll continue to work. I think it shall. And there'll be a couple different colorways in the shop for this update. I wish I could bring you more, but all of my attempts have meant I only have so many bags left. So these are the colorways that will be available. And I hope you like them. I'm having so much fun experimenting with these colors. I I'm really enjoying ice dyeing. I like how the colors run together. I like the different colors that come out of each dye. So I could go on and on because I think it's so fun and I definitely recommend just trying it at home if that's something you like to do. Um, so this is going to be called Blue Crush. This is option number one. So these bags have all been ice dyed and then washed. I have washed them all um, as well. So there won't, shouldn't be any there may be a little bit of a dye runoff on your first wash because you know, like with the different pH levels of people's water across the country, dye can react differently and sometimes it bleeds, sometimes it doesn't when um, it reacts to a different, when there's a different pH level. So that's just what happens. But after a few washes, it should be fine. And again, I've washed it, but like I said, you just never know with the pH level. But the majority of the dye is off the bag at least. Okay, so that's number one, that's Blue Crush. This is, I think, my personal favorite, but I'm always for the warm colors. This is gonna be called Tropical Sunset. And all of these bags, like the colorways, are gonna be like, these are colorways that I think are gonna stick around, hopefully. But every single bag, because of the nature of ice dyeing, is 100% unique. So I'm gonna post a picture of the bag. What you see is what you're getting. You're not. This, this isn't like a prototype. This is what you would be getting. So this is the front and the back is actually really solid or simple, plain. And I'm gonna keep it that way because there may be some people who just like it that way. So again, just like this, this is gonna be called sun, Sunset, Tropical Sunset. And this is a mix of purple, red, it's actually amethyst, watermelon, and a teeny bit of orange. So that's one variation of it again. I think this is my personal favorite. And this is the last one. This is a surprise to me how much I do like this. This is for my new, more neutral lovers. This is khaki and beige. Uh, yes, I think that's what it is. Khaki. It's definitely khaki and then a grayish, beige-ish color, if I remember correctly. So this is much more neutral, but there are little, I mean, you can see there's definitely sparks of color in there. I've been surprised the gray dye that I have seems to be the one that creates the most surprise colorways. Like this, warm tones, there's not really any surprise colors. That's kind of what I expected. They're all shades of the colors that I put in there. But like this is blue and gray and you get pops of yellow and pinks and so that's really fun. And then here again, I used that same gray but added a different khaki with it and you still get the muted colors and I think that's really beautiful so I will take better pictures of course of these bags these will be available um, I'm also going to list a solid plain pre-dyed bag if you want that and I hope you like them because I love dyeing them so please show me tell me if you like them um, tell me if you you know you have any different colorways you'd like to see I apologize for that truck that just started I love this. I think it's so fun to try something new and I am really enjoying figuring out this technique, seeing how the colors combine together like I mentioned and I'm having a blast. So I hope you guys like it because I want to keep doing it and I can't ice dye a million bags for myself. In my last podcast you'll see I wore a shirt that I ice dyed. I eventually would love to ice dye a dress. I might be like one of those people that has a whole 
tie-dye iced tie wardrobe. We'll see, but I'm having a blast. So one more thing I brought out that I wanted to show, and I did talk about it in my last podcast episode, but I am talking all about eco bags in this compilation video. So that is updated packaging for EB Knits. Now, every single, mo I think every single order will be packaged in its own cotton bag for protection. And these are actually produce bags. So they don't have the design in it like the other ones do. And I have them in three different, uh, three different sizes. I just brought out the smallest one to show. They have a drawstring. So like, you know, for example, this small one would probably be for scrunchies or hair accessories or coasters. Um, so that way, I'm trying to make all my packaging more reusable. I don't want my packaging to go in the trash. I want it to be actually meaningful, hopefully, and reusable. So here, this is replacing the tissue paper. This will be the protective layer. And when you get it, just bring it to you with you on your next grocery run. So this is included in every order now. These produce bags. This is the same deal, 100% cotton. Um, actually, organic cotton. This one's organic cotton. I think the other two sizes are just cotton. And yeah, I am just thrilled to be updating my packaging a little bit. So um, that is the updated EP Knits packaging. That is Eco Bag Editions of the Shop. That is my ice dyeing fun. Thank you so much if you watched this entire thing. Um, if you want to check them out for yourself, they're available at evnits.org. My Etsy shop is EB Knits by Emily. Um, Etsy is just for, you know, hand make and vintage, so I'll probably put the ice dyed bags up there, but um, the other bags will just be available at evnets.org at this point. So, thank you so much for your support. If you want to find me and find, like, sneak peeks and whatnot, join my newsletter. That's who gets the most information. You can also find more behind the scenes on my Instagram at evnets. So, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a ton that you would watch the end of this video and your, for your support. I appreciate it. If you have any more eco-friendly tips, leave them in the comments and let me know, or easy adjustments that you can make to your lifestyle. I'd love to hear them. Have a great day, guys. Wait, let me... <laughs> I did bring out... Okay, so these are like the good ones, right? These are the successful bags. But there are quite a few of unsuccessful bags. As I said, it took me a long time to figure out how to get it right. So, I did bring those out because I think they're funny. And I think it's cool to show your process. So, I don't even have the very worst one. I don't even have that one, but this was the second one I did. And I like it, except oh, look at all the dye that's on the brown. So that's disappointing. Um, and then this was my next one. No. One of these two are very similar. This one was my next one, and I also really love this. It was a version of the blue crush, but there is a little bit of blue on the brown, and I don't want that for you guys. And then this is another one. This is one where clearly, I'm just calling it like the ink blot <laughs> because looks like it looks like an ink exploited a pen exploited in your pocket that's what my boyfriend said and he's totally right and then I was trying to experiment with potentially like a stain remover getting dye out and it just stained the fabric light colored so that was disappointing um, this was another one this was a new different colorway I was trying this is more purple but I did get a little purple on the brown so that was disappointing and this was another one of the blue crush. My sister said she loved the blues, so I kind of got hooked on that, you know. I was like, okay, I think people are gonna like the blues, so I made a lot of them, and then I just kept messing up, so there's blue on there too, so. There's several disappointments, but just figured I'd show, because it's all about the many, many attempts in figuring it out, right? So, like I said, there was, 
The worst one I can even bring. Here. 